Hi. Have you done the exercise? Good. Let's try now and go over it together. First, I'll read the first paragraph. I know Doron for about 11 years. He moved to Malay Dumim 10 years ago, but I meet him about a year before that. When I meet him, he looked for a house here for about six months and was getting pretty desperate. If you have ever looked for a house for a long time, you may know the feeling. I have another friend called Michael who look for a house at the moment, and he hates every moment of it. Okay, let's begin. I know Doron for about 11 years. What did you write? Did you write, I knew Doron for about 11 years? What's wrong with that? Well, if I knew Doron for about 11 years, that's the past tense. And if it's in the past, it means either I don't know Doron anymore, or Doron is dead, and he's not. What about I know Doron? Did you write that? That's better, but it's not correct. I know Doron is present simple. It's a fact. It talks about the present. But here, we're not exactly talking about the present. We're talking about something that happened, but not in the past. We're talking about an action that I began. I began to know Doron 11 years ago, and I still do. Does that remind you of anything? An action that happened and is still happening? Yeah, you're right. Present perfect. We use the present perfect to talk about an action that happened and is still happening. Now, we know it's present perfect. We still have two possibilities. It could be present perfect simple, or it could be present perfect progressive. If it was present perfect simple, it would be, I have known. Person, have or has, and the V3 of the verb. If it's progressive, it will be, I have been knowing. Person, have or has, the word been, a verb with ing. So which is correct? I have known. Do you know why? Because no is a stative verb. A stative verb is a verb without an action. And stative verbs will always be simple. Okay, let's go on. He moved to Malé Dumim ten years ago. That's simple. He did it in the past. We know exactly when he did it. Ten years ago. It's in the past. Now we ask ourselves, is it an action that he did? Or is it an action that he was in the middle of doing? If he did it, it's past simple. If he was in the middle of doing it, it's past progressive. You're right. Past simple. He moved. We just put a D at the end of the word move. He moved to Malay Dumim ten years ago. But I meet him about a year before that. Now it gets a little bit complicated. I meet him about a year before that. Are we talking about the past? Well, it sounds like we're talking about the past, but we aren't really. Why? Because our story is taking place ten years ago. That's when I met him. And now I'm talking about something that happened before that. I'm talking about something that happened a year before I met him. I'm talking about something that met, that happened 11 years ago. Have you guessed it yet? Yeah. I'm talking about an action that happened before another action that itself happened in the past. And that we call past perfect. Now, it could be I had met, or it could be I had been meeting. One is simple, and one is progressive. Which is it going to be? Well, are we talking about the result of the action, or are we talking about the action itself? We're talking about the result. 
the actions are over. I had met him about a year before that. Okay. When I meet him, he looked for a house. Now we have a new past, and the past is the time that I met him, 11 years ago. Past, simple, an action that happened in the past. When I met him, he looked for a house for about six months. This is a tricky one. If you got this one, you're doing really well. Let's see. When I met him, he looked for a house for about six months. I met him 11 years ago. He looked for a house. When did he look for a house? He looked for a house before those 11 years. Six months before those 11 years. He began looking for a house 11 and a half years ago. And I met him 11 years ago. Can you imagine those six months? They happened six months before our story. Again, an action that happened before another action that itself happened in the past. Now, it could be he had looked, or it could be he had been looking. How do I know? If it's simple, it will be he had looked. If it's progressive, it will be he had been looking, which is correct. This is a tough one. I need to ask myself, am I talking about the action or the result of the action? There was no result. When I met him, he still hadn't found a house. We can only talk about the action itself. Yeah, he had been looking for a house here for about six months and was getting pretty desperate. Not us. If you have ever looked for a house for a long time, you may know the feeling. I have another friend called Michael who look for a house at the moment. Okay, this is present. Now, he look for a house at the moment. It can either be present simple or present progressive. It can either be an action that I do generally or an action that I'm in the middle of doing now. Let's think about it. Right now, as we talk, Michael is looking for the house. Present progressive. Person am, is, or are, verb, ing, who is looking for a house at the moment, and he hates every moment of it. Do you remember what we said about stative verbs, verbs that have no actions? Hate is one of those. We never say he is hating. We always say he hates. Yeah, don't forget the S. Present simple, he, she, and it. We always put an S at the end of the verb. Okay, let's stop there and go to the next tape.